Okay students, I'm going to give you some feedback on your assignment number five. This was where we used lenses and we looked at telephoto lenses, standard lenses, or wide-angle lenses. And of course you may be using a zoom lens on your camera and uh, that will actually allow you to do all three of these, a wide, a standard, and a telephoto. Uh, you're supposed to use the subject for the first one was a person then repeat it using a subject that was not a person and then again the next part was you were supposed to do three photographs but this sequence you actually move to position yourself so that the subject stays approximately the same size in all three shots this is something that you could not do inside you ha it takes some space to do it uh, the first sequence we did with the person you stood in one place and used the lenses to bring you closer to your subject. And you should have started with the person not real close to you. Okay, so then repeat that with a different background. So I'm not too sure all of you did all of this, but basically the good news is that you all did pretty well on it and I think you all learned something. So this is Emily and she took the first series where she stayed put and used her zooming uh, to get in and so this is just uh, the setting that she used for the wide angle and then this is more of what the standard would be and then this is using telephoto so it's an extremely telephoto but this is the point here uh, not only are you making this subject bigger this chair bigger closer uh, but you're also compressing the space so let's look and see that the chair compared to the wall in the very background on the other side of the pool in this first shot it's obviously not very close uh, this normal 50 millimeter view it's uh, pulling the uh, fence back there closer but in this extremely telephoto it looks like that fence is very close to the chair so that's how you're compressing space front to back it's a really really important thing to learn and one of the things you can do with that is when you use this telephoto effect and you've got your subject in the foreground the background is generally going to look out of focus and that's what we call bokeh b-o-k-e-h and that's a very common trick that photographers use but it's also one that's very effective because the out of focus background calls attention to your subject. So let's look at uh, this is Jade's and she used uh, some objects here which I appreciate. Uh, notice how she's also telling me uh, what part of this assignment is here and down here she's telling me what her camera is and I, I want you to do that on all of the stuff that you turn in. So this is a chess set and now staying put but zooming in making this piece look bigger and then the furthest zoom in brings it forward now here you can really see this bokeh effect see how these things in the back here are really out of focus alright so this is uh, standing in one place and this is Anna's and uh, she's looking down this uh, road here this path and this is the first shot and this is the second more of the standard view and then this is the more telephoto view again one wide two standard three telephoto now in this telephoto you're bringing these trees to where it looks like they're much closer together than they really are but that is a factor of using the telephoto lens and it's something you need to be aware of but it's also something that can make your photographs look dramatic so this is uh, Heath's and Heath uses his uh, phone and uh, an iPhone 6 camera and so here's his subject and here we're getting in closer and we're getting in closer now here's the thing when you're using an iPhone you don't really zoom the lens. You, what you are really doing when you, you know, you do that thing where you hold your fingers on the uh, 
iPhone and you spread them apart and that gives you this little line that allows you to kind of hover over it, press on it, and this is the closest zoom you can get and this is the furthest back you can get. Now really what you're doing is you're actually just enlarging the image. You're not truly zooming in. So it's this is an exercise that's really kind of difficult to do with an iPhone, but this is a good example of, of uh, doing something pretty positive with it. Okay, now this is where we're going to try to keep the subject the same size. So this is Emily's and she's got uh, her subject standing out in this field out here. Now the size does change a little bit. It's not it's not easy to do really, but um, it, it could have been done a little bit better because when we get into this one uh, the subject is obviously way bigger than this first one so this isn't exactly what should have been done now let's look at Courtney here and Courtney has the subject facing the camera and now the second shot is closer in and the third shot is the telephoto this is a great example of how zooming in with the telephoto creates that bouquet effect so you see this background here and you can see how the subject really stands out so that's that's a great technique to use uh, for portraits really uh, using a telephoto lens for a portrait is actually a smart thing to do you may be standing back a ways from your subject because of it but it does create a very flattering uh, photograph because the background is out of focus. Another thing it does is that front to back distortion it actually makes people look better because the distortion works. If you're using a wide angle lens it doesn't work. Why? Because it will widen the features. You know the people always say if you go on television it looks like you gained weight. Well that's because a lot of television is shot with wide angle lenses and so it's not the person it's the lens that's creating a broadening effect so for portraitures you don't want to use a wide angle lens generally you can do it sometimes and you can do it well sometimes using the telephoto is actually a better thing so you, you all did pretty well on this it's a pretty technical assignment there's nothing too glitzy about taking the photographs like this but it's important that you know what the effect of the lenses is. In the next uh, assignment we're going to start moving into photo editing and this will allow you to sort of it's sort of like taking the photograph over again because when you bring it into an edit editing environment you can do different stuff with it. Okay, good work.